One from two in the line out. This one, five metres out. All certain. No risk taking the goal. Well. Short to the front, trying to set that wall again. They got changed last time out. Can they get forward again? It's starting to move now. One stop. Monster getting low body positions to try and lock it out, stop the momentum. And they've done a pretty good job yeah, of doing that. Ulster still creaking forward ever so still slowly. And Herring happy forward. to keep that ball in the back. Might be a swap spot there for Herring, it's over. And that is an Ulster try. He's got some feet, hasn't he? So has Burns. Balakun was offering himself away to the right. Maybe now for Balakun, or maybe not. Oh, Joe went what? through. What it went backwards. It's picked up by Balakun. Leggy, stretching, scoring. <laughs> Hutchinson, sensing some space, finding the ball, doing it brilliantly, not collecting the ball cleanly, and scoops up wonderfully. Oh, my goodness, how well did Lowry do to employ Balakun once again? And look at Balakun. He's got Lowry to the right. He's got Joe to the left. Joke's gone. The chief engineer was Michael Lowry. McElroy. It's a ball. Now there's a penalty coming here. Billy Burns chipped over the top. Lowry's chasing. So too was Moore. It's picked up by Lowry. The bouncing ball and Lowry sensing the opportunity. Once again, linking up pleasingly with Moore. Balakun. Uh, Balakun does really nicely to get them all the way to McElroy. And here's the try. Here's Larry. The bonus point securing try. Maybe the last 16 securing try. In the first 20 minutes for Ulster, joint top with Lencer. Which is a pretty impressive start. And they're going to try and push for five more here. It's at the back with Herring. They're creaking their way forward. It's looking good for Herring. Can he get there? It's down. And it's an Ulster try. Burns calling for it, out it goes, here's Larry, the quick feed of Larry, he's in again, you just cannot stop that man at the moment. Treadwell, if I go anywhere else, he's been flawless so far, at the back with Herring now, he's looking for a second try, and he's starting to creep forward, Claremont having to leave and regroup, Ulster still going forward, Herring having a look, at what stage does he decide to break, he's still going forward, now he goes and Herring gets it down! Second try this time. Chance here on that far side. Out it goes to Lowry. Lowry looking for a second try. He's just short. Can they recycle quickly? Doak having a look at that ball. Ulster players pile in. Advantage being played. And it's against the full back to Bergen. Did he get that down? He did. Ulster have their fourth try. 15 minutes to play. That's an advantage, Ulster. Shanahan switches to the right hand side. Burns long floating pass to the outside. And Robert Balakun goes over for Ulster's throw. Also five wins at the Kingspan this season, but behind on the scorecard tonight as they're moving carries. Can they get there this time? They're on top of that whitewash. Nathan Dope picks it out. Here's Curtis! Curtis scores for Ulster! And at last the Belfast battering pays off! Now Nathan Dope for Billy Burns. Here's a chance for Gilroy. Can Gilroy find a way to the line? He's almost there, but not quite. The ball just held up and allowed the Scarlets defenders to regroup, but now Marty Moore goes. Sam Carter tries to get the latch on. Listen to the crowd now as Ulster go through the big hole. They're right on top of the line there. There's the ball. Need to recycle this ball. This time is it. Over the line to Ulster. Jacko Piper blows his way in amongst the mass of bodies. And he sees a white rugby ball over the line. Led to a try in the first half. Nathan Dub again. McCarney drives that shoulder into those wholehearted Scarlet's defenders fighting for everything and they get to the line Ulster oh, Nicholas Little had a little bit of space in front of him and off goes Billy Burns now ripping away from the defence ball bounces for Greg Gilroy is that try number 69 for Ulster for Greg Gilroy well gathered Larry at pace, oh magnificent from Larry. He's still going, he needs a bit of help, he's got it.
Greg Jones, and Jones gets it done. Took him a wee while, but he got there in the end. But once again, it was the sheer brilliance of Michael Laurie that set it up. Moore again, and again it's Sam Carter. And again, Moore at the back. And the work detaches, and then gets there again. And Moore goes to the line, and Moore has got it. And on his Ulster debut, Declan Moore has got his first Ulster try. Yeah, a huge smile on his face as well, Jim. You know, that's a great set piece. Burns, McCluskey. Wide to Laurie with Balakun outside, and that's a good pass. Now here goes Balakun. My word, he's quick. He is sensationally quick. That is quite unbelievable from Robert Balakun. Crossfield kick. Balakun is going to get the bonus point for Ulster. Jet the little dot down. He won't score too many as easy as that. But will he score any more significant than that one? A sensational bit of work by Hume. The pass to Nathan Duck. It's a question of his pace now against Josh Lewis. Will the slide take him there? Not quite. Hume arrives, who made it all. And they are going to score. Marcus Ray has scored for Ulster on the stroke of half time. <laughs> Treadwell catches. We could spend some time in this corner. Liberated only by Ulster scoring a try. Ulster doing a lot of shouting and even more important, the driving. Andrew gets ever closer. They think they're over. Andrea Piardi awards the try. The forwards have worked their trick. Burns. As for Balakun to chase him, my word, he will chase. That's bounced awkwardly, and here comes Balakun. He's not going to do it again. Oh, yes, he is. Magnificent. Needs someone with him. That someone is Lloyd Williams. Balakun up the right wing, spotted oh, the danger. Got in to make the tackle, but now the intercept. And James Hume is three quarters of a pitch to go, but no one's getting to him. Oh, you could see the card of thought with the Balakun. Oh, lovely ball back inside, Timoney. Is there another try for Nick Timoney? He's on his own for now, and Cardiff eventually managed to get him down inside the five metres. An explosive drive from Timoney. Here is Henderson. Clock in the red. Reaching and getting there, Stuart McCluskey. Well, for his first half performance, you could argue he's deserved a try. Doak into midfield. Timoney. Timoney will get there. But there's the try that always seems to come, it seems, for Nick Timoney. As Cooney gets it in, big shove, and Vermeulen realising maybe best course of action to get that out of there quickly. We've seen that a lot from Ulster tonight. Billy Burns at second receiver. Brilliantly timed pass from Stuart Moore. Here is Balakun. Backs himself all the way. And when you've got the gas of Robert Balakun, why not? He had John Cooney on his inside. But he saw the opportunity. It's classic wing play. Cooney and McCluskey. And into the line comes Hume. Oh, brilliant hand. Stuart Moore. And it's a run in for Aaron Sexton. Try number six for Ulster. Excellent backline move. Great hands. And once they got that quick repost through Timothy. Well, they've kept the hammer down, Ulster. And they uh, love to get one as well, the psychological blow of getting one from a Moore. And Stewart has his hands in it. And he's over, Tom Stewart. His face beaming at the bottom of all of that. Well, we had Aaron Sexton just a moment ago, and now it's 21-year-old Tom Stewart. And to the front they go on O'Connor. One stop! Don't change mind. Can Two, they get set and get any down. kind of forward momentum here? Let's Ball go. tucked up under the arm of Andrew, and off he goes on a bust on his own. And he got beyond Adam Byrne. He's done really well to make four or five metres through the tackle there and gets it away to Marcus Ray. Quick ball required here for Doak, and here come the big targets. 
Timoney, joint top try it. scorer, of course, in the URC this season. Doak again, he misses out. Marty Murray goes to Warwick. He didn't quite reach. Surely they're in here. And for the line is Sam Carter. Good period of pressure, this from Ulster, as Andrew gets Stay his here. hands on it again. Alan O'Connor deputising as a scrum half. Is there an end product to this period of pressure? Out the back from Burns and Laurie holds on to it. Balagoon and Laurie again. Nicky just had a, a quiet word with Stephen cuts off. I'm not sure if that was a in the five. A formal warning. Herring breaks away from the back of the mall as it was uh, brought to ground. Burns. Strong tackle from Ori. Still they cut. Marty Moore with the drive and Ulster have their first. An important score just after the end of the first quarter, having conceded a couple of early tries inside the first eight minutes. Now driving in on the jumper, that was clear. Kieran Treadwell, contact made with him in the air. McCloskey does brilliantly well and Ulster have their second try. Almost from nothing, Stuart McCloskey. On a penalty advantage. Well, hitting the out. defensive line hard, ran a good angle. Now it comes for Madigan and Marshall. Brilliant Just score. Time, yeah, they were playing on time. penalty advantage. Yes, and Luke Marshall. Everywhere. Ulster in full on defensive mode. Cooney. Round the corner they come, this is for Newlin. Cooney again, swift transfer, Balakoon is in! Cross playing as a winger. Hume, he's opened up some space here for McCluskey, who's striding forwards, options left and right. Balakoon for his second. Beautifully worked try by Ulster. Henderson. Murphy. Gets it away, Warwick, try scored, Andy Warwick, oh the intercept from Balakun, and nobody will get near him, Robert Balakun with the hat-trick for Ulster, and maybe just pointing the way to a most famous win. Brilliant tackle and the ball's gone forward, advantage, Andy Warwick, what a chance for Ulster. Over. Red jerseys waiting for this one. On they go. Toulouse all over the place defensively. Can they stretch them here? The crowd roaring Ulster on. Warwick. Back Ball's gone backwards. Right it goes. Lowry. Again, Hume. Little kick step, and the offload is good as well. A chance into the corner, and McElroy's going to get the first try of the game. Ulster off the mark. Nobody marking McElroy here on the touchline as well. If they managed to see that. Third visit, it's a penalty advantage, so at the very least, they'll have a shot at goal. They might as well have a go here. McCluskey in behind. There's a massive space on the outside. If this one goes to McElroy, McElroy for Ulster! What a try! Herring, safe take from Carter. And at the back with the Ulster hooker. Once. Trying to use the ball here. Trying to edge their way forward. Jordy Murphy leading the hooker forwards. Ulster trying to defend it, but they're struggling to contain. And Ulster almost at the line. Can they get the ball down from there? Surely they can. It's Rob Herring once again. His impressive try scoring record this season continues. Roberts again finds the target. And again, Ulster try and set them all. O'Connor just trying to edge them forward here. They found a soft change and they found a gap. Just gone down, penalty advantage. They get another chance from here, almost there. There for Doak, you might fancy go. No, the pass to, yes, Sean Reedy's there. It's a lifeline for Ulster, they've five minutes left, and they're now within a score. Great line from the hooker. Doak now switches the angle. Desperate defence coming from Edinburgh. Now powering forward is Marcus Ray. Ulster within a yard of the first try of the night. Just short this time, Doak with a short ball, wonderful hands from Stuart Moore who gets it to Robert Balakun. That's Cooney, this is out for Mullen. Burns moves it wide, here's McElroy, surely he's going to get in, sidestep, puts it back in field, and the dive, and the score. 
And Ulster have got the first try, and what a score that was. There's a hand nearly coming out. Back in the Ulster side, Burns, or two. Here goes Henderson, gets it away to McCluskey. McCluskey big and strong, and McCluskey's going to score! And what a significant try that could be in terms of this season for Ulster! Burns, nicely done, here goes Balakun. Balakun still going, inside to Cooney. Cooney's got Balakun with him, inside to Jane Coon. That must be the clincher for Ulster! What a gem of a try! Come together. One thing I noticed in the Toulouse game, Quinny, was that Kendallin suffers no man as Ulster go quickly. And Ulster have won their last two URC fixtures since they lost to Munster in April. Ulster's ho- only home defeat that was in the Championship. Lovely hands by Hume de Balakun. Here's Moore for McElroy. McElroy's almost through. Oh, that is glorious rugby. Sleek, slippery and clinical as they find the fire breaks. Cooney yet again, McCluskey inside for Vermeulen. Cooney to Ray. Kendallin brings him down. Cooney, Billy Burns, now James Hume outside, Balakun. It goes to Moore and Stuart Moore. Good scoreline to protect. Connors take. Cooney to Burns and now McCluskey and Hume, what a line from Hume, he's got support from Timoney and Timoney is away here for Ulster, is that the knockout punch in this knockout round from Nick Timoney? Dope to Burns, is this the moment for Hume? Hume rolls his way to the line. In the way of Ulster, Cooney, McCluskey, and through the hands of Burns, it's on here for Asta and Balakun. Balakun into the corner. Burns, Hume, and Balakun. It'll pop over the top from Balakun for Moore. That is brilliant from Asta. Back on equal terms with a kick to come. The referee's got the hand out for a penalty to Ulster for an infringement. Back in the Ulster side, McCluskey has a go. Oh, wonderful stuff by McCluskey. That big telescoping arm. And Luke Marshall ducks it down as if he's just gone out for the Sunday papers. Thrown by Stewart, taken by O'Connor. And here is Stewart. And away goes Stewart. He's driving hard. He's going to score. Tom Stewart on his first Ulster start. Has got his third Ulster try. Six or seven metres now from the Connaught line and closing. And here goes Stewart looking for two. Has he got over? I think he has, you know. If not, it's very close. Still there for Ulster. Doak has got over. Close for Stewart. Spot on for Doak. Held up on the line. Doak has dug it out. Doesn't need to look too far wide. Nicely done. Here goes Stuart Moore. That looks like the bonus try for Ulster. Stuart Moore squeezed over in the corner. Plenty of men there. They almost had the chance to overdo it. Put the Callum Reid into help. Tremanga Allen looking for his first Ulster try. Is it Chuku's in there as well? And Jordy Murphy. It's all right there. Here goes Reid. He can't quite squeeze over. Neither can Ray. That's Matty Ray. Jordy Murphy. Still there. Tremanga Allen to help. Oh, good die. That must be a try. It is a try. And they've got over, and it's Callum Reid. Five minutes. No real mistakes. Oh, there is one now. The arm is out. The Scarlets have been offside somewhere in midfield. Can Ulster take advantage? Short again, or are they over? They are over. Was that Nick Timoney? Let's have a look who gets up. It's not. It's the captain, Alan O'Connor. Ball is there. Short comes up. Luke Marshall. Just a metre short. One more phase. More. Over he goes. Second try for Ulster. Kluski, Lowry, there's a gap there for him to go through, ball inside, John Cooney under the sticks, another try, and Parker Scarlett, this time for Ulster, Treadwell, Burns, good hands again, pass behind, Lowry, does he fancy a dip through the gap, away he goes, Nicholas, ask him a cover on the inside, what a tackle there, but Ulster still had possession, five metres out, O'Toole with a pick. 
Warwick with a carry. Big, big moment here in this fixture in the URC. Pick and go, trundling through, ball is down. A try for Ulster and for Marcus Ray. Treadwell back on his feet, back in the movement again. Another carry for the big second row. Herring again, working so hard on the Ulster forwards. Round the corner they come. Are they over? Are they over? Yes, they are. Another try for Ulster. And I believe it's Billy Burns. Certainly do, but this one, McCluskey's in there. Ulster are pouring onto this one. I don't think there's much the Scarlets can do. Herring, he's short. He has to move away. Advantage being played. Has John Cooney got over? Time off. Really, really messy off. passage of play. Referee just lost his bearings for a, a couple of moments there. And they've certainly paid off. Apart from that little hook, he's been flawless off the kick and take. Certainly has crossed for two tries as well. Herring back inside. That's Gilroy. The Ulster are looking for a seventh try. Oh, lovely little shift on. Forwards combining beautifully. And they're over. Taking it at the oh. front. Now, can they get in behind and do what Lenser did in the first half? Andrew's got the ball in there. One more shove might just do it. And coming in field. Terrific Leinster defence. Ulster go again. And they've got the try. And it is John Andrew. Moving in field. Ball comes back. Eric O'Sullivan has a bash himself. Cooney gets it away. Still there for Ulster. Moving forward. They're not too far away. Cooney changes direction. Now it's Madigan. Lovely little flat pass. Oh, what a start for Ulster. Luke Marshall having a, a second or third part of his career gets over. And also couldn't have wished for anything better. I watched David Irwin many times. His kicking wouldn't I wouldn't have said it was a strength. But yes, wonderful, wonderful player. Ulster from head to toe in here. From the Ulster side moving forward. We've already got one try. And Andrew's right in at the back. As he know, he's not going to get another one. Andrew's got about two metres to go. It's a question of getting it down. And he has got it down. Can he make up for that? That's the first bit done, well taken in by Anne O'Connor. Around comes Andrew, pops it up to McCluskey, who's still going forward. Here goes Timoney looking for the try that was denied him. Now they pick up and drive. You can't touch the bottom of the post anymore because that's not a try scoring act. But Oster will keep the ball. Andrew goes again, referee is well Hands positioned. Off, Hands off. It's not over the line yet, now it's over the line. Surely that's the try, yes it is. Cooney again, McCluskey takes and goes himself. And again he's brought down, and again Cooney's there quickly. And again it's Luke Marshall, and again Luke Marshall scores. And that's the bonus point for Ulster with 33 minutes of the first half gone. John Andrew fast approaching 100. Great take at the back for Vermeulen. Well, the little change of pace now, it's Nick Timoney. And can he go all the way? Wonderful defending there by Luke Morgan. Ulster still going forward. McCluskey into Tom O'Toole. He was a bit upright when he took the ball, but did well to get it down onto the ground. Here's Jordy Murphy. Wonderful pressure from Ulster once again. Alan O'Connor, the captain. Burns, lovely little offload. Michael Laurie. Oh, wonderful stuff, Laurie. What sleight of hand by the fullback. Also kept possession just about there. It's been squeezed back. Now Andrew's got it in one hand, and now two, and here he goes. Referee's got the hand out for a penalty against the Ospreys. And also looking for this try, and they've got the try. Great dive right at the end. And up with the ball comes Sam Carter. So Marcus Ray's going to take it on himself. And he goes forward, and he stretches, and he's got it. He was allowed the movement, nothing wrong with that. Stuart McCluskey. But yes, a real chance now, and yes, an opportunity. They've opened it up. Yes, it's going to be a try. Rob Balakun is going to slip by. <coughs> they still haven't quite got there, but they should get there now. Surely, the long pass. Uh, Rob Little's had little to do in this game. It's again good defensive organisation that from the lines, but they are not going to be able to hold them out, and it's going to be eventually. 
a solid try that to the Ulsterman, and they deserve it. Uh, and accuracy. If you can get those things right, it opens up things for you. And they're certainly doing it right now. We thought about a long pass. Back in field, it goes to the captain. Alan advantage. A little pop pass, and then uh, as Marcus Rear taking it in. Patience is needed. Now for Mielin with a pass, Rob Little. He's got over. pace, Rob Little. Can he get over? Easily enough in the corner. And once again, as we saw in that first half, soon after the start of the game, a try that scored. Start this line out with a, a decent throw. In. No, it's not. It's gone. The way. Oh, a try has been scored. And they need to deny Ulster here. They're already leading by 11 points. No contest there from the Lions. They're all about defence right now. That close to their goal line. Six metres out. That's one stop, just sideways. One stop. Here is holding it at the back. That's clear on the floor there. They're finding a little bit of momentum. Yeah, they come. Here comes Rob Herring. Can he get over? I think he has. Yep. It's another try. The fifth one then to the Ulsterman. To the Ulster Academy. He's got to find the darts here. And he's done so. And it over. Transfer of the ball back nicely from Sam Carter. And Ulster piling forward. I think it's in the hands of the hooker. It's down. Ulster have the first try in Limerick. Pile of bodies. And it's Jordy Murphy who comes up with the it's ball. Already. This season. Mall! One behind Lion over. Marshall, who's One top score. It's back with the hooker. And Stewart has it. Ulster trying to push them towards the touchline, but it's still going forward and over the line. It is Stewart. Ulster trying to recycle, pick off the back from Stewart. Nowhere to go. Oh, though, three. John. Ryan puts him down. Nine. O'Connor now looking at his options. Has Vermeulen outside him, but it's gone wide. Out it goes from Burns to James Hume. <laughs> Ulster get the third try, and it's all too again. easy. Carter once again. Stewart comes round, oh, and again down. zebra take it down. Uh, is AJ Jacobs going to let them away with that? I think his touch judge in the far oh, side has mentioned it to them. And he's, they've done it again. And Stewart stretches and he scores. Advantage was played and Stewart has scored for Ulster for the third successive game in the number two shirt. Yeah, that's nicely done. Stockdale gets their way to Luke Marshall up the near touchline. Good covering tackle. Marshall managed to keep it in field. Doak gets it away. What a sidestep by Callum Reid. Doak again, Flannery does nicely. Ray, Ulster playing well. Beautiful stuff by Ulster. James Hume back inside to Doak. Pops it up to Matty Ray. Matty Ray's going to get a second. That's as good a try as you'll see anywhere. What a penalty coming to Ulster. Is it Chukwu looking for his first Ulster try? Can he squeeze over the line? Not quite. Here go Ulster again. And surely they are. Yes, they are. That's the third try from Ulster. They're all bunched in the middle. Now it's Doak. This is better stuff for Mullen. Luke Marshall gets it away. Dummy, all by Stuart Moore. Bonus point try for Ulster. Right on the stroke of half time. And that's more like it. Very first line out. The answer is absolutely. And he's taken that as if he's never been away. And here goes Stuart. Stuart to Henderson. Henderson to Stuart. Stuart for the line. And Stuart for his second try. And Ulster's fifth. And instantly Ian Henderson makes a difference. Stuart Moore in the first half. But would just like to see a little bit more set piece variation from good take by Henderson now can John Andrew burrow in at the back and drive his way over yes he can a zip by magic absolutely clockwork stuff we will see a long long way to go the opening quarter ball has offered much and here come Ulster now they're throwing the backs in there as well the likes of McCluskey and Hume and Stuart Moore and yeah! break the line Cooney can dig it out, they're queuing up now. Can they drive over? They got the latch on, good, resolute defence for now. But Treadwell will get there, and Kieran Treadwell will score again for Ulster. Big turnover, five minutes to half time, they've it's withstood potential from deep. As they can do, Murray's got McElroy outside, Osborne, the only line of defence, the pass is away, and all the way in goes Ethan McElroy. <laughs> A third Ulster try. Absolute classic sucker punch on the counter attack. A very steep learning curve. They might just get there here and they do, so they get one back. Taken away from it. Tom Stewart, the hooker. Take and go. At the back with Moore. Again, Aldrit first to put his body on the line and make the tackle. Henderson at the back. Henderson almost going, advantage is down. 
Try is given. Into contact. Skelton slow to get back off the ground. Still there for Ulster. Chimney. Sutherland. Joke. Little check from Joke. Wraps around the ankles. And back with Cooney. Cooney delayed the pass perfectly. Treadwell. A metre and a half now for Ulster. Marshall. Can they get from here? Johnson with a huge hit on the outside centre. Another advantage being played for Ulster. Marty Moore pumping the legs. Cooney. John Cooney. Ulster have their second try. Well, Ulster do have possession from the line out and it's taken by Henderson. Timoney. Ball off the top to use here. There's a spring in the Ulster step now. 14 points on the board. Another carry. Eight from Stuart McCluskey. O'Sullivan it's a second since he's come off the bench he's only on the pitch about three minutes cross field kick there's nobody at home on the outside Dwayne Vermullen of all people can he get that down Vermullen for Ulster and Ulster have got a lot of penalties from that in the second half they just need to get a little bit more go forward and they, they have to go like forward now they do sorry to interrupt you because it looks like they're about to score John Stewart has done it the 21 year olds four tries this season make it try number five and he will not score a more important one they have a four try bonus point 28 minutes still looking for the first points of the game behind from Henderson quick hands might do it at McElroy to Marshall Marshall oh, trying to get out on the outside Little kicks it through Little in the corner is that the game's first try yes it is that's what they've done so Ulster now Henderson takes it against La Rochelle in the second half Let they started the second half with a try can they do something similar six. here and kickstart a performance in this game that's a really good driving ball it's at the back it should be it should be there for Ulster on the ground where's the ball yeah. try is given Stewart going to go quickly More. good take Carter just off the bench gets over. his hand on it so hard five. to stop from here Stewart already five. has one try to his name he's in prime position to get a second nothing Connor could do Stay so bound. far still going one forward stop. Stewart spinning off and Stewart over the line Tom Stewart gets his seventh try of the season